All right, guys, this here is just a, I just want to show you um, how quick and easy it is just to build a small carbine without um, worrying about uh, kits. If you're just on a low budget or something, and uh, um, yeah, you just want like a simple kit, pretty much all you need is uh, um, just uh, your marker, um, a tuning run helps. Um, Instead of a hand guard, you got this, uh, it's like a front accessory that goes on the barrel from Home Defense 24. First of all, this is pretty much, all the parts you see are actually from Home Defense 24, except for this little gadget here. Um, this is an HPA adapter, which they do have at Home Defense 24, so you can get the whole kit right at that store. This one happens to be one from critical situations I had from a long time ago. And these are just 1 8 MPT fittings and that's a universal ASA. So that's a universal HPA um, on off. So um, yeah, but what we have here is you get your HDR. It's got a tuning run in there. Um, you're going to need a tuning barrel with the extension. Uh, preferably the sniper extension because it's got the threads on. And it will allow you to accept either a muzzle brake or um, some kind of silencer or mock silencer, mock suppressor. Um, but uh, yeah, and this kit here is around, yeah, this is around a 60 joule, 55 to just probably over 60, depending on your fluctuations. But uh, yeah, this is on 1100 PSI, so. I'm just gonna put it together and show you how easy it is. Like these are all accessories. You don't. You don't. If you're just on a budget, you don't need them. You're just looking for a carbine, something that's a bit longer than the pistol, kind of to hide your longer barrel, because it kind of does. I mean, it's effective, but who, really, who cares what it looks like? But it does look kind of funny, putting that on the tip of there by itself, or two of them long. But yeah, it's just if you want something to hide that, there's many other options. But this is just an easy one. Um. I'm not sure what that is, but that does not look like it come off a 3D printer to me. It's solid, thick, hard, it's weird, it just looks too smooth, it looks like something Nerf makes. They're really good quality, but anyways, I don't know how much they are, but you'll find them on the site too, but just let me, I just want to show you how easy this is. So pretty much you just need the, the marker, the tuning barrel, and your HPA tank, and an adapter. The, the little baby mag holder, the silencer, and the muzzle, those are just extra bits, but here, I'll show you how we do it. First of all, you got your, um, your, your on-off. This one's from Critical Situations. Um, yeah, you just got a 90-degree elbow here, and then here's an extension, 1 8 MPT, and then there's a double male end going into here, and then the other male end going into there. Which is your universal on off for HPA tanks with the HPA threads. <laughs> so, yeah, you're just gonna take it. First of all, you have to modify your uh, HDR. It's so just a shell, you gotta drill. It's about a, I believe it's a 5.8. It's a 5.8 hole, I believe it is in there. And then, yeah, your adapters will go right in. Just screw that in here. Okay, so so there it's gonna look like this now. Why don't you just screw that in? And I've actually retapped the threads and all my adapters and stuff, they have a longer threads. Instead of the typical three threads we now have 10 to 15 threads um so yeah i, I tapped the valve and i had some of these pre-made that were already done and i retapped some of the old ones myself but that a little otherwise that's all the threads you're gonna get just three threads there so i got mine coming out to like here now so like really long some of them so it's really good support it'll support all this no problem um, you need to really tap these if you're going to use the buttstock version, but I'll show you that at the end, the buttstock version. 
Um, yeah, you just unscrew this piece and then you can screw your tank right in the back there instead of what we're going. We're going to have our tank here. This is going to be a very short compact build. But so yeah, once you do that guys, now you can take your tuning barrel now and then you just thread that onto the tip. <clears throat> Um, it's just a very easy setup anyone can do. Um, this is to accommodate the HPA power because this, this marker specifically HDR50 does not like CO2 without a restrictor. So we're wide open here, no restrictor. I got a mercury rise degasser here. I cut the pistol grip a little bit shorter so it's not as long and then it's, it's got the mercury rise cap in so I can degas from there. And this is my on off knob. I just turn this, uh, once I turn it and butt it up, so I store it when I'm ready to use it, quarter turn, gassed up, ready to go. Okay, yeah, so now we, we'll take this from the uh, other part of the extension from Home Defense 24. We will just stick it on like this. And then underneath we got two Allen keys that we tighten it on with. Yeah, just like that so there now it just now it basically looks like an extension pistol which it is um, very lightweight plastic solid plastic um, you can either thread your muzzle tip on here yeah, so I'm not going to go all the way with it and then now for your tank like this is just extra, but you can put the cap that it comes with. Um, when you buy the tuning barrel, it'll come with a cap here that covers the threads. But uh, yeah, so pretty much now this is all you need with your tank. <clears throat> now your HPA tank. Oops, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, so now we got that, and there we go, it's still nice and compact, I mean for a 60, 60 joule marker, I mean it's still, it's still not bad, here's an HDR, that's an HDR 68, so, I mean I have a barrel extension in this, that's an actual HDB 68 barrel installed in there. Works very good. But anyways, you can see it's still short. <clears throat> um, now if you want, and if you, if you can to get all the accessories, like I said, you can put that on. Those nice short bridges are good for ramming too as well. So when you run out of ammo, if the guy's still there charging, whatever, that becomes a nice little weapon. And then, now you can put on a suppressor, like the Home Defense 24 mock suppressor they have there. It's got the foam insert. So yeah, we'll just put this on. Not necessary, but like I said, it looks pretty cool. And if you baffle it up, I'm sure you can reduce the sound a little bit if you're allowed to do it. But yeah, so there you go. Um, now you get the little, also the little baby mag holder. There, you can put that on. So there now, store your four magazines under there. You just take them out as you need them. Very fast and quick, go in and out. Um... Yeah, and then if you want to go ahead and you can put a, if you find that it's too heavy, you just put one of these on, like a folding stock or any kind of little, sorry, a foregrip, a folding foregrip, or you can decorate it however you like, so, um, yeah, and you can put a scope on as well. 
don't really need it because uh like the tip of these sights actually line right up perfectly and with this suppressor you can actually this, this iron sights actually goes above so you can still see it perfectly i mean well as good as you're going to see with a, something that like that on top but uh yeah also you can put a laser on here instead if you want you just put a laser on there you can grab this with your hand and then boom like right there that'll click you on and then that's a strobe light strobe laser um yeah so and then you can just leave it like that but right now you're going to be at around i think the highest i've clocked with this setup back in my earlier videos was around it was with a homemade wax slug i think it was around 62 jewels the 1100 psi we got and then here's another suppressor um this one's a printed mock suppressor but it butts right up there so now it also butts right up <clears throat> um you can go that route but either way yeah it's just a it's nice compact it is very light i mean it's pretty heavy for one hand wielding but i mean you could put a um, all you need to do is really keep your hand here or you can put it on this and then like i said you can control your laser down here with your thumb because it's ambidextrous and also here let me see let me just remove this um yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I can take this off and you just your bottle will screw right into there or you just get a ASA on off like one of these twisty ones from same thing from Home Defense 24 another one um, the little bag the magazine the tuning run the suppressor the muzzle brake and the on off in the tank all that stuff's from home defense 24 so this whole build pretty much is except for this little guy here which they do make as well home defense 24 makes these as well but uh yeah so you unscrew this little piece out of there here let me show you a little closer look see it's nice and solid ain't going nowhere by the tank i'm holding by the tank like look at that spin it all around it's great it's perfect People think that it might not be solid or tank might be too heavy for this kind of setup. Let me tell you, if you put in the right Loctite in there or enough Teflon tape, you don't have to worry ever. <clears throat> but yeah, let me just show you here up close. You guys can see this right there. Yeah, so that's the adapter where it ends. And then this adapter screws in where your 1 8 MPT fittings, that old nipple adapter used to be there. You just replace with the NPT fittings and yeah so you would unscrew this part and then you would get rid of this little rig and then you screw your tank right into the you put your ASA into there and then instead just like this so that thread will go right into here like that and then you put your tank right in the back of here and then you put you put this buttstock over your tank and now you have a buttstock instead it makes the gun a little longer, but yeah, just for the short budget friendly one. <clears throat> uh, take this off. You don't, you just need uh, this piece. So it basically makes a carbine kit, even with the stock on it, it makes a nice little rifle. Uh, here, let me just. <clears throat> Um, so, let me see here. Yeah, 
so I'll just remove this part right here. Like I said, that just threads into there. Now you just set this aside. You just thread your ASA on off in here. Just like that. And this is a self purging on off too, so this will degas your marker. If you use this setup, you don't need one of these down here. That's a degasser also. But yeah, you just put your tank in. And same both setups. The tank is the gun is never under pressure. Your marker seals are never under any pressure until you turn this knob. So right now, there I got to butt up against the pin. So when I turn this knob, there's a pin going this way, and then when you turn it back, it goes that way. So it'll butt up against the tank's pin, and then it'll stop. It'll get stiff, and then a quarter turn from there, and you'll gas right up. And then when you're done gassing or shooting. You just turn this, quarter turn the other way, and it'll push, it'll purge the whole marker. And again, nothing will be under any pressure, except for your tank regulator, of course, because that's always under pressure. <clears throat> but yeah, then you just, whatever buttstock you like, you can use any buttstock you like. Um, yep, you can put a foregrip on. Just a really quick, easy to make carbine. Um, you can put your laser, and then you can put your created suppressor as long as it has the same thread as the tuning run. So yeah, there you have it, guys. <clears throat> nice, simple, easy, cheap to make carbine, guys. Uh, yeah, you all stay safe, take care, and have fun, guys. <clears throat>